Good morning everyone, my name is Fernando Garcia, or better known as Flutter to W, and today we're going to go enter into the life of a high school esports player. Now originally I wanted to do this uh, video series right after spring break, but uh, I guess you could say we're going online, so it feels like I'm homeschooled again, and it is currently 4.45 a.m., and I created a system for us to have morning practices that we're going to start up after spring break. But then it got extended due to certain situations, I think, that we all know of. And here we are. So we have our morning practices for our Rainbow Six team because we actually qualified for invite back during the spring, or not the spring major, during the fall majors of 2019, where we play second place. And we're going to make sure that we don't do that anymore. So let me change the lights real quick. Hey, Google, turn my city lights purple, more like it. So uh, yeah, we're going to be documenting everything that's going on right now. So today's actually uh, March 23rd. It is Monday, so this is actually our first day of actual online classes. So yeah, we're going to be experiencing that and continuing on. So the spring major actually starts this coming week. Right now we're in the preseason. I'm not sure if we're registered for the preseason, but uh, we have a total of two scrims this week but it's going to be a normal time. So our current layout with our morning practices, it's going to be you wake up between 4.30 to 4.45, and then we have warm-ups from 4.45 to about 5, and then we hit ranked or hit practices against other universities. That was the original idea, but with all the universities uh, shutting down, we actually are kind of in a sticky position with all of our scrimmages. So we're going to be playing it by ear within the future days of our practices. And with everything happening throughout this time, I decided to be one of the best ideas to actually start recording this documentary because one, I don't know when I'm going to go back to school. I feel like I already finished my last day back before we spring break, so I have no idea what's going on. So welcome to the Daily Journal, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, so there's people in my neighborhood already starting to get the virus, but uh, Texas has been on, a, or the nation's been on a state of emergency since Friday the 13th, and uh, we're already kind of like on a lockdown type thing. Uh, Bobby, you peek first. And um, what was I going to say? I'm still warming up right now, as y'all could probably see in the background. But. Yeah, dude, it's insane because we can't really even go out of our houses unless it's necessary right now. So I'm just starting to do the morning practices and taking it more seriously. Looks like I'm in a 1v1 right now. I'm trash. So we're just going to see on how the rest of this season goes, I guess you could say. Uh, we're going to be continuing. We're going to continue warming up right now and then uh, we're gonna hop into some ranked. It's crazy to see on how much life has changed within the past 90 days and beyond. Uh, right during this time period, I decided, hey, it would be an awesome idea for myself to start streaming and to start working on my personal brand. And I had no idea what to expect after that. And I would have never pictured what happened since then. Going to have a viral post on the social media app, TikTok, and that completely changing my life in the retrospect of me having my other uh, platforms to grow on and actually starting to make a profit off of this like with all, this whole entire time period of us being locked indoors it's been a blessing and a curse at the same time a blessing with everything that's going on within my own like social life like within esports but then the bad parts of like not being able to see anyone so yeah it's crazy Another thing that's really crazy to me is on how, I guess you could say, ignorant I was to the whole situation at the time. I thought it was just going to blow over within like a couple weeks or maybe a month at max. Not to where we're going to have a second wave already hitting within the month of June. And maybe even another one in the winter and like this whole system that they have set up for the future year. So yeah, life's crazy. It's just crazy to me on how much has changed since March 13th. That was a day when uh, they announced that social distancing was a thing and uh, everything was going to start getting ready to go into effect of lockdown. 
and that was the week of spring break. I didn't do much at all that week uh, leading up to that point. We just had some toilet paper scares at the time. It was harder to find certain supplies. But then I actually went out to H&B that day and it was completely empty, like the shelves. Not the store itself, it was completely packed. That was the most packed I've ever seen it ever in my life. More packed than I've seen it at Thanksgiving and Christmas. And it was absolutely insane to me. And I already made plans to go out that day, so I continued going out that day. And I'm so happy that I ended up doing that because that was the last day I saw any of my closest friends uh, since everything has happened. Uh, we went to an overnight event at a cafe and we just had fun. We just pretended like everything was normal because at the time everything still was normal. Uh, we were quite scared at the time. We had no idea what was going on. We thought we were going to be coming back in April. Uh, actually, not even at that point yet. We were expecting just to have a one week extension to, and then we would go maybe online for a week or two and then come back. And then, yeah, everything changed after that day. And then I remember it was the last day, March 14th was the last day I had any uh, fast food service. I went out to Cane's with uh, the lady friend. And again, it was actually the last time I'd seen her since everything has happened. And it's just crazy to think on how, like, we all transferred over to online and we thought that was going to be the best thing possible when in actuality it was one of the worst experiences like the teachers themselves everyone was very understanding and all that jazz but from a student's point of view it was complete chaos coming in from the previous nine weeks of having all a's and two b's like extremely high b's i completely fell off I failed a college level class, barely passed another college level class, and all my other grades and my other classes just dropped down. I had literally no motivation whatsoever. And you expect the kid that was homeschooled to strive throughout this event, but no, it's not the case. Once I transferred over to CAST, CAST has become one of the best things that I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. I met the closest amount of friends and like amazing teachers that have impacted myself and changed my thoughts across the world and figuring out what I actually want to do in my life. And once I got the taste of traditional public school, it's not even traditional public school, it's a traditional charter, I can never go back to going back to homeschooling or another public school. Cass has truly been there and everyone in there has been so supportive from the students and also the teachers and faculty i never experienced anything like that before. I wish I could remember, but... And it's crazy to think on how much has time has changed overall, like the whole 2020 arc. Coming in from the scares of war to Australia on fire to famous people's deaths to being in lockdown and then now there's riots going on. It's insane. I know it's impacted a lot of people's mental health. And that's why I'm happy that I have a lot of close friends and family members because without them, I have no idea where I'd be at. Also with competing at the national level has been a total, total blast to me. If I was just doing basic stuff, I would be losing my mind. And I have to thank Cass for that. I'm very curious to see what's going to go on for the future for my senior year of high school, but I know Cass is going to provide an awesome experience even though the tough times that we're dealing with. They say I say is at the back of that, and I do have some reading of that coming out. Oh, okay. so, um, I have those two books. Cool. All right, so that was my first class period that I've ever had online for like throughout all this time. So we're gonna continue playing it by ear, but yeah, that was my first class. I have an hour break between uh, my UTSA online class all the way till my uh, science class because I don't have the class at the high school level. So we're just going to be vibing on PC Siege until then. So yeah, see you shortly. It's just crazy to me looking back at these films thinking, hey, this is really, really cool and unique. I really like this. I'd like to do this for the rest of my time here in high school. But as time went on, I realized that it was one of the worst things that could have happened. I do not like learning online. I found out that the hard way. But it's just crazy to see the optimism I had at the time. But... As time goes on, we all grow as a community, and 
I'm actually really, really happy that it happened this year compared to it happening next year, where my senior year would be quote unquote ruined. But that's not what I'm worried about. I wanted to impact the community, run charity events, and just uh, promote insight into students going to Cast Tech because this is something I want to do. I want to become a coach within esports and open the minds of youth into education within gaming. 15 minute sessions, you're posting stuff on Google Classroom. It sounds epic. <laughs>